What an unusual place to return to the punchy fist run of Demon Souls. I'm slowly making my way to the uh, fog door that we'd bypassed before. I'm pretty sure there's only uh, a crossbow down there, and we're not going to be using that. Hey, look, a trap. Hmm. Let's avoid it. Ooh. That is going to be very, very useful. Let's see what this guy has to say. That was a bolt jump. A surprise indeed. Well, now that you are here, pray thee. Fend off these dreglings. Screw you. What on earth are you doing? <laughs> oh, they are wrecking him. This is awesome. I mean, horrible. This is horrible. That man is going to die, and it's all my fault. No, wait, he's rolling through the fire. It's his fault. My thanks for your brave rescue. Sarcasm. I am Ostrava of Volataria. Accept this as a token of my gratitude. For a second there, I was expecting him to stab me in the face. Well, he's almost dead. I'm sure he'll be fine. Ow. Ow. Oh, a useless weapon. Better keep an eye on him. I mean, he's. Oh, maybe he's going to sneak up on him? Or he's going to swing uselessly around. Well, uh, I think I'll help him out because I slightly almost got him killed. Now, this is one of the two hander knights, which I actually consider a lot easier to kill because he doesn't have a shield. Which means that he can't block. Which means that whatever I do to him, he has to take. Well, while he's wandering over there, I'll uh, check out this area. Ow! Or he's going to come and follow me. You little... Yeah, I'm not gonna let you shoot me. Take that. And he's just gonna go wandering around. Straight into a pile of enemies. That's a great idea. You go do that. For the last soul remains, I'm gonna throw it over the edge and let it straight on the barrels and... not do a thing. Is he dead? Oh, no, he's still alive. Yeah, 
And now he's dead. I avenge his death. Despite being the major cause. That's it? A key? I could have gotten his awesome armor or something, but no, I have to get a stupid key. What the hell's a mausoleum anyways? I don't know. You might notice I don't have very much to say about this area. It's... Well, it's the same kind of enemies that I've already fought before. There's nothing new about them. There's only a lot of them. Oh, there's a guy over there. Nobody else in here? No? Okay. I'm gonna just sneak up on him. Oh, wait, first I'm gonna go grab this item. Gotta be careful and quiet. Whoop! Oh! Oh well! Did wake him up? Supplies! <laughs> I thought that was a different area. Now, I haven't really talked much about the uh, rolling attack. But that's mostly because I don't usually get the chance to, uh, use it. When you do a roll and then attack, you usually do a, a wide swing. With the fists, it does a pretty decent amount of damage, and it's a wide enough swing to hit most enemies in an, in an arc around the front of you. But it leaves you wide open. You can usually follow it up with another punch if you want to uh, keep your enemy stunned. But you bring upon the risk of getting, you know, hit. Which you don't want to be doing. Even with the best possible armor, I can still take very little damage before finally killing over. Being in White World Tendency makes it a little bit easier, but not much. Oh, knocked him down. And now, come on. Step on his head. Now, right there, when he dropped his guard, I headbutted him to uh, keep him distracted long enough to punch him in the face. I say it worked pretty well. This guy, he's been taking pot shots at me for the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> 